Stop the battle within your soul. You know it's all in your head. Being sad. This one is gonna be what I actually wear in a week. And yesterday I woke up suddenly just in the mood to make things. So I went to fabric store, got some fabric. I print out some patterns. This morning I just got on this cardigan I made. And then a pair of these linen sleep trousers I wear all the time. So I'm just gonna get ready for the day now and put on my first outfit. I pulled out my Uniqlo rib t-shirt. I'm going to wear this and then put a dress over the top. This is the dress I'm gonna go for. This always makes me feel very put together and creative. And that's definitely the mood I want to be in today. This is the crop rib t-shirt. And then we've got the dress over the top. I just love this lace that goes around. This fabric has a bit of a grey herringbone design. And it just looks a lot like suiting, but in a dress. In the mood for some bigger hoops. For the last 3-4 months, I've been using MAC Chili. I believe this is one of their best-selling lipsticks. It's a really nice warm brick red kind of colour. These are free patterns from the Peppermint website. I took some sewing classes about a year ago, but I haven't really made anything since. These are the two things I'm going to make, this little peplum singlet top, and then also the pocket skirt. The pocket skirt I've made before using some scrap fabrics, but this time I'm just hoping to make it a little bit neater using a nicer linen. I'm making both of these from the green fabric, so it will be a cute matching set if um, I'm successful. I started to cut, it's pretty boring, so I will just check back in with you later. For the rest of the afternoon, I think I'm going to keep on cutting and then hopefully get to actually cutting the fabric. I'm so far away from home In this desert of regret It's a little bit clashy this morning, but I have been loving the sweatshirt. I love the contrast stitching details. For today's outfit, I'm gonna wear this grey sweater and then also this broidery skirt. It's 22 degrees, so I've got a tank top inside. If it gets hot, I can always take it off. I live in a very windy suburb. It's often quite cold, even when it's meant to be hot. So I don't think it's at all excessive to wear a sweater today. The skirt is so pretty. Um, it does have an elasticated waist, making it really comfortable if I want to be sitting around working all day. And then I'm just doing a little bit of a front tuck because it's quite a boxy knit. I'm wearing these green onyx earrings, so I've got a pop of colour here um, and I might just go with a neutral bag later on. I've cut out all the pieces I need, so this is one of them. I tested and threaded it last night, so I should be fine. Oops. Let's try that again. Two panels here for my skirt and I believe all I have to do is to sew the four pieces together now and I'm done. It's a bit of a cooler day, quite rainy, so I'm heading out to lunch. Um, so I'm gonna wear my bed black boots. These black boots are so comfortable, they're pointed, they're so comfortable. I wear them in, I think, all of my videos. These are usually my shoe of choice when I want to look sleek, um, but be super comfortable in my shoes. These pants are from Tradlands, they've got an elasticated waist, making them 
really, really comfortable. This top is something from Lily Silk. I'm featuring them in an upcoming video and just getting some wear from my pieces. My jewelry combination is very clashy today with this fluoro green and these beads, but I'm kind of feeling it. I mean, the outfit's so neutral. It just needs some color. I like haven't vlogged that much today, but I'm just about to head off to the gym. And I did like a little workout on Monday, it's Thursday now. So it'll be my second time this week. Aiming for three, but usually I get between two to three a week. I've been going to the gym more consistently over the last month or two and just getting into the routine of things. I'm copying my partner here and just doing some deadlifts. I do six in a set and I do five to six sets uh, depending on how I'm feeling. I don't even know what this exercise is called but I'm just doing it. And then I do some lunges again. I do about six to eight and then I do five to six sets of that. But right now, my goal is just to be healthier, work out three times a week, um, probably feel a little bit more energized. This is the outfit I'm thinking about wearing tonight. I've got on this kind of a gray, bluey gray color top. It's very form-fitting and then it's got a little cutout here. I'm still thinking what skirt to pair it with, but maybe I'll do this patterned skirt. The top is from Kukai. The skirt is from Tibby a few seasons back. And then these shoes are from Gani via the Outnet. I really wasn't joking when I said I'm gonna use this bag every time I go out. I think it goes with pretty much any outfit because it's both silver and gold. And silver and gold for me is just easy to wear with any evening look. This skirt is from Tibby and I got it in one of their end of season final sales. So it was a bit of a gamble but I do really like it. Low rise. Um, a faux pattern material, it's got pockets. As for what I'm actually wearing today, it's a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna go for these Uniqlo trousers and then these bed footwear boots. This cardigan is from End of a Stories. And jackets like this always reminds me of Sandro. Of like Marge, Sandro. And those were kind of some of my dream brands when I was young. Nowadays, I actually don't buy from them because I don't like the quality. Sometimes I feel like it's actually comparable to End of a Stories. But I'm always into that uh, more traditional cardigan vibe. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure my grandma had this exact cardigan when I was growing up. But I do like it. I think that this pant length is not as elongating as a full length would be. However, today it's like rainy, it's wet weather. This type of length is just the most comfortable for me to wear. And it's just one of those lengths where even though it's not making me look as tall as I could possibly be, um, I still think it's quite balanced in an outfit. Throws off the shoe a little for those days where um, I do want to highlight my shoe more. I do think every like length of pants, every shoe has its time. I don't want a wardrobe full of uh, things that are exactly the same. I want them to be slightly different for different styling, different occasions. Planning for my next few videos. I really like to mood board things. Whenever I have the time before filming a video, I always like to mood board. Um, just so I can see very clearly what this video is about. <laughs> so here is a little sneak peek of the next video. Um, I'm very, 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 very excited to film this one. After this week of not filming, I'm so excited to get back into it. It is so exciting, but we are completely done with the skirt. I am very happy with the skirt. The skirt is as basic as I feel like sewing patterns get, but I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. This has been um, the mess of the dining table and a little behind the scenes if you're wondering. So together and then here is the right side. I mean we can kind of see the color now. I like it. This was a good choice. I often feel like I don't choose very wisely in store but this was a good choice. I spent like 30 minutes in the store and at the end I was actually thinking should I just go for white? But to be honest after spending 30 minutes in that store bag just going for pure white. I don't know. Okay so I've read the instruction a few times and I recall and it feels natural that the next step will be joining these two. Okay, progress shot. 
Um, now we've got the sides joined together. So you can see that seam here. And then the other side. So we've actually got a top now. It's just got very raw edges. And I think now we're doing the neck binding and then the sleeve binding. This is the part that probably stresses me out the most because I don't think I've done this before. Um, and I feel like it's going to look very messy. But we shall see. Okay, so one down. Done this one. One to go. And now, I don't want to rush it, but at the same time, I'm in a little bit of a rush um, because I have some other work I definitely need to work on. It is Saturday morning and we are just heading to our local market. Gonna wander around a bit and then probably have lunch in the city. I'm wearing this lily silk sweater, Suzanne skirt. Got on my D France's boots. So you guys might have seen that I was working on a red scarf and then I finished it and the shape was just completely wrong. So I've actually started again and I've just made it a little bit thinner. I'm following the exact measurements of the pattern this time and I think it'll look a lot better. So that's why I'm unraveling this and then knitting this. I didn't really get a chance to show this during the day. Um, this is a Marla Aaron necklace. I'm quite obsessed with her jewellery. This is something I got um, for my birthday as well. I actually get quite a few questions about my Marla Aaron pieces. So I feel like if you're getting into the brand, this is a really good one to start with. The idea is that you can put different charms through them and it's just a very versatile piece. I am finally working on the peplum. So basically the last piece to the top. It's Sunday morning and I was sewing for a lot of last night and I finally finished both the top and skirt. Here they are, this is the peplum top. So you can see we've got the round neck, the peplum, and it's more of a crop shape. I am so happy with how this one turned out. And I'm gonna do the final reveal today when I actually wear and style these pieces. But I thought I would show you up close and just tell you a little bit more about making these pieces. If you're looking to make your first item, I would definitely say do the skirt. It's pretty simple and there's not a lot of technique involved other than sewing like straight seams up and down the skirt. If you're in autumn winter, you can probably make this out of wool or another fabric um, that's a little bit warmer. There are so many loose threads that I need to cut, but this top is the one that was still beginner friendly, but maybe a little bit more challenging for me. The part I probably was concerned about was definitely the neckline and the armholes. So I was worried that that was going to look really messy, but I think it turned out Okay. The point of my V is definitely one or two stitches of center, but I think it's not too noticeable once it's on. I tried this top on when it was finished, before I attached the peplum, and I wanted to keep the crop length, so I actually ended up shortening the peplum. It's meant to be double this length. That was a very nice alteration, and I feel like I do like this top a lot more with this smaller peplum. I'm 
wearing this look this morning so I've got both the tank top and the skirt on I've started with this black bag I wanted something in like a contrasting color so it wasn't like too much green these are two necklaces I'm wearing I went for this little pearl necklace and then this two-tone necklace I do feel like it was a really good choice to make this out of linen because it feels really cool and easy to wear in the summer it's pretty hot today and I'm feeling yeah feeling fine my shoes which you can't really see I've gone for some croc and boss sandals there is so much linen that I just think it needs a little bit more texture. I've also been carrying this extremely heavy camera bag. So you can see some of my strap marks <laughs> there. For this top, if I was to make it again, I feel like next time I would make it a size smaller. I made the size 1 or size 6 equivalent. And I do feel like it's a little bit too roomy like on the sides. It will be a little bit more flattering if it was just one size smaller. At the same time, I don't feel like this was meant to be like a super figure flattering top. It's not meant to be super fitted. It is meant to have a lot of ease to it and be looser. I'm trying to work out, as I said, three times a week. And I've also been encouraging my mom to work out as well. So here's us um, on our Sunday workouts together. I kind of like the idea of just throwing this blazer over the top of what I was wearing. I feel like I've definitely seen Pinterest inspiration where they'll do like active wear and a blazer. When it comes to like actually wearing it, I'm not so sure. This might be a little bit too contrasting. I do love to like try new things and see how I like different combinations. I really don't like style rules where it kind of forces you to wear a blazer with other things that are polished. But at the same time, I don't think this is it. This top here is from Lululemon. I featured it in one of my wishlist videos a while ago and it actually went on sale. So it's currently on sale, at least on the Australian side. So I did go for it. These tights I've had for, I feel like at least three years. These are from Girlfriend Collective. They're the compression tights. And I do feel like they fit very, very well. What I really like about this outfit are the proportions. In my actual wardrobe, all of my tops and bottoms are a little bit wider. So I feel like it doesn't go as well. I put on the sweater from this morning. I've got some shorts on and I think this is what I'm actually going to wear. So I definitely don't change this many times on a weekend. But I wanted to show you what I would actually wear if I didn't wear that linen set I made. I often just do like simple sweater, go on some denim shorts. In the fall or autumn that would be jeans. wrap up today's video here this is everything i wore this week thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye